Hi, Julie. Hi. And this is John. John's the Hi, John. Here. Hi, John. You're new. Yeah. To me, anyway. We're here in Toronto with John. This is Photo 3000. Wow. I'm going to turn it so he can see you. There you go. Thanks for helping us, John. No, anytime. Anytime. Great. This is. Ha ha ha. Well, this is. <laughs> this is very exciting for us. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot. He's about 10 years old. I made him 10 years ago. Now, we were asking about Jiminy Cricket. How long ago, how old were you that you did Jiminy Cricket? About 84 years old. Right, or 100. Um, I, I've been doing it for four years. Four years, okay. Yeah. So I'm the, I'm, I'm the third one. Third one, yeah. So John has all these, uh, all these uh, computers here. Wow. And people come in here on Thursdays and use them, and then print on these three different printers here. I got more downstairs. And then, oh yeah, he's got a bunch downstairs, really big ones. And um, wow. But then, uh, and then here's some of the things that've been printed. But then, all, all you have to pay for is just the cost of materials. Wow, that's great. Um, so the cost of your materials is two thousand dollars, but other than that. <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll take care of all that. Uh, okay, this is, see this guy here? How long did this one take to print, John? About <laughs> 17 hours. 17 hours. Oh, I would have, I would have guessed about 3,000 years. Yeah. It's beautiful. Some nice little pieces here. Yeah. So a nice little, uh, nice little play studio here. You guys oh. have something like this pretty soon. With... That is so fantastic. He's going, to, he's, going bring, he's going to bring up a foot, yeah. That thing uh, looks like it, some sort of a flexible item there on the desk. That was yes. printed in one with all the separate... Yeah, in one pass. Wow. So yeah, this, this is uh, really advanced. The MakerBot is really advanced where it can do the... the um, it has the, it can print with supports underneath it and stuff, right? Yes, in fact, that's what, the first few minutes of your deal, that's what the supports are coming in. Ah. Look at this guy here, isn't he great? Wow, yeah. Red Dragon. <laughs> it's going to be nice to have this kind of little studio for you guys. Oh my goodness, yes. Look at this tire. So, so now you're, <laughs> look at that. And that was printed all in one? Yep. Wow. This, this moves. Oh my goodness. It moves. Yeah. You, you got any AK-47s there? <laughs> this is pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> That's gorgeous. Wow. Oh, look at this. <gasps> Why don't you explain this, John? Oh, look at that. Like, Whoa. Like, 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 one. This is actually developed on our, on our higher end. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Poly jet material from the Stratus system. Wow. Wow. That, that jets out clear material with all the bones. Amazing. On the inside. Absolutely amazing. They actually made one in Stratus as a full baby, a full baby like wow. mm -hmm. from from from, uh, from the bottom up to and then brain all the wow. skull on the inside. Wow, wow, that is just unbelievable. So really, like anything's you know, anything can be made. It's it's it's, it's, it's how big is your budget? <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. How big is your budget? How big is your That's right. Wow. Because you need certain people that know how to design. So. Right. Right. Well, see, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if my little 3D boy was, was uh, the right size or, you know, anything. But, but uh, you guys are all so advanced that it looks like you can handle anything. How about this? Wow. Now, the part that's made is, is, is the uh, clear part. Uh-huh. This part here is still, you know, the, the industrial part, but uh -huh. the clear part. Look at the teeth. Oh, man. Look at that. And these are actually used by dentists as... Uh, Implants? As guide. So here's a really cool one. See the red part? Uh-huh. It's printed, but it's, it's the guide, so when the dentist is working on you, he's putting his drill through there, and he's not going to go tilt it to one side. For oh, it's sort of like a, like a guide. Uh, yeah. So wow. he can drink just before your operation. Ah, ha, ha, ha. John made his own orthotics. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> look at these. Oh, man. Just amazing. Now, the first time I had seen anything like this in, in person was at Mattel. I went there to record a voice for one of their toys, and, and they were printing up 
a prototype of the, it was a Stinky the Garbage Truck, and I was just blown away. But this is, this is light years beyond that. It was moving so fast, too. Yeah. We were on the phone this morning with Stratus and uh, just all the things that they're doing. Oh, look at that. that wow. Amazing? Wow. Hmm. Oh, this whole, well, this whole structure. This is that? Here. Wow. So you can build like structures for like interior design. Yeah, for chairs and, and chair, yeah. yeah, tables. I, I, I thought this was a European toilet. <laughs> you can, there's a whole thing. <laughs> How about this? Oh, look Whoa. at that. Uh, for they, could, they could actually do molds of your face, Bill. Face transplant, yeah. yeah. We could all use one of those. This one here is actually interesting. This is actually a military project uh, from uh, in Israel. These students uh, got together and designed an exoskeletal snake. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. They, they put a camera inside and they would cover it with a spandex military camouflage material. Uh huh. And it would move into the grass. Wow. And then, and then it's for it's for soldiers in uh, in, in Israel to get up and they would, they would see who's on the other side of the mountain. Right. So reconnaissance. The good old Hamas. Right? Yeah. And, yeah. Right. And, uh, and then just basically look, send information Wi-Fi back to soldiers, get back and, and you know. Brilliant. Wow. Look at that. And they can't wow. shoot that down as easy as they, as they do the drones. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and again, no stuff is required. It builds it all together. Amazing. All Wow. If you know what I, you know, I manufacturing, yeah. right? I love the complexity of this. This is amazing. It's a, it's a, it's a, gear. a gear within a gear within a gear. So are you, are you able to uh, print other kinds of materials, like even metallic now, or foil, things like that? We can. Uh, we're, we're, um, it's basically aluminum, um, stainless steel, and, and uh, titanium. Oh, wow. Okay. It's not, it's not cheap. Oh well, gosh, no. Uh, yeah. Very complex geometry. Like, you and know, you're gonna do, John, make me this as a, you know, a, you know, simple CNC machine can actually, you know, subtract the material out of a block. Uh huh. But when you start doing like, um, like a, think of it like a beehive. Uh huh. Very complex, and there's no way the CNC drill can get into those areas. Right. It's called DMLS, direct metal laser sintering. Uh huh. Wow. That's a powdered metal. Same idea as 3D printing, but powder metal and laser hits it, and each laser is like eighty thousand dollar a head that, that pops you you're out eighty k. Uh huh. Hits hits the powder and build, build basically it's like micro welding it. Uh huh. Building the, the the structure and then another roll of a very fine powder board over over it and then again builds on top of it, fusing it, fusing it, rolling it, fusing it, rolling it, fusing it, rolling. It. At the end, you have to go and get your model in a huge tub of powdered metal, pulling it out. You know, and you get a post boss. So it's, uh -huh. it's a pretty intense, but then you got like a 3D printed part that's, uh, that's uh, you know, usable, right? Wow. So you also, I would imagine you uh, can print gold as well. Um, we haven't done that, No. But we probably can. And but for contacts and things like that? Yeah. You, you can. Uh -huh. um, they're working on, uh, on print, pr conductive materials. Uh -huh. In two years, you're probably going to see uh, your cell phone all in one piece. Sure. The casing and then all the other all circuit boards all in one shot. Right, right. Yeah, and, uh, like a substrate on top of a substrate and, yeah. Okay. And then once, that, once that's done, then Terminator's going to come out. See, <laughs> they're printing robots that are moving, plus they're, they're artificial intelligence that they're working on. Getting Wait. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> John, what is this here? Is that a rebreather? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You saw, so just to show, uh, this was uh, an actual, this whole part was so we're showing, you know, devices that you can mm -hmm. actually print and add to your current and verify, mm -hmm. verify for filters and, and, and so forth. So this wasn't, this is a rubber. We can do the rubber because we could do yeah. rubber also. Mm -hmm. But they have the rubber. They just want to, uh, they want to approve, yeah. you know, to approve the, actually, the functionality. Mm -hmm. So you can actually design it. Again, mechan mechanical engineering design, part design, fused with trying to make it, you know, more prettier, right? Uh -huh. The clip was also, you printed this with a clip. Uh, to tie in the, uh, the project. Project. Right. So any improvement can be done. Now, Phil, mm -hmm. John's been doing this for how long, John? You started well, I've been manufacturing uh, almost uh, 22 years. Wow. Uh, 40,000 since 05, 06. 
Gee. Uh, are you, are you uh, John, involved in any of the uh, organic printing as well? Like Bi biomaterials? Like body parts, yeah, biomaterials. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not, but I, I get a lot of calls. I bet you do, yeah. You know, it, once, it, once it's proven, uh, I'm not going to be in the, in the research. I don't have a billion dollars uh -huh. to spend. Uh, and 20 years to, you know, to maybe 10 years, I don't know. Uh -huh. But once it's ready available, we're probably going to be distributing that also. Gee, wow. Right? Wow. This is so cutting edge. I just love yeah, it. It's, fun. it's thrilling. Yeah. It's, you know, you know it's. John does a lot of dental. Yeah, we have a, we have a, we have a, we have a yeah, dental division, which. Uh, you know, you basically, uh, they're converting over from analog to digital, so scanning your teeth, uh -huh. and a CAD model, and that goes to a software where, where a tech, uh, you know, a computer post-processor will take the, your CAD model, take the section of your tooth that you need to have a cr crown or a bridge, uh -huh. pull it off on the software, it's called planning, uh -huh. and then take it out, and then send that, you know, clean that file out, send that to a dental milling system, right? And we, which we also uh, sell, and then it basically will carve out the, the the zirconia uh -huh. and the different ceramic, different materials, depending on what, what you're trying to do. Right. And then give it to the dentist, and the dentist then puts it in and it fits like a glove. Right? So, so no no need for uh, porcelain or molds or that kind of stuff no, anymore. Right now, like yeah. right now, they're doing it by hand. They take uh -huh. it and, and I've been at a, a lab, there's like 30 guys with this huge. Yeah. Microscopes and you're sitting on a stool just doing this all day. Oh, yeah. I just had a couple of implants done myself, and Did boy, you? it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, it and time consuming. Well, it's not like that. It's like the, the, it, it, it's, right now, it, it's a, it, like they're artists, they're craftsmanship. It's like, yeah. um, it's like, you know, they have a certain hand, but the young generation nowadays, they don't want to do that kind of work. They want to be in the computer, right? Sure. So sure. That's, that's what's going to and, 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 and they're going to be retiring. So what's, what's going to happen is Monica. that 20 years of experience, when that guy goes on vacation, the, the, the younger, I guess, um, two year experience guy gets in there and makes a mess because he doesn't have that. Right. Five years of experience of knowing, seeing that this is, this is wrong. Uh -huh. You just that you only gain it from experience. But with software, software helps. There's a lot of redundant systems that allow for some verification. Saying no, you can't. It's not ready yet. Oh yeah, you're right. So it, it, if there's tools, there's quality control systems in software that can kind of tell you that you did. But you're doing it manually, like unless you know what you're doing. Uh huh. Right. Twenty five years experience. You're like you, you, you messed up in 1984. <laughs> again. Yeah, so this is a kind of a artificial intelligence. So it's like artificial intelligence that's that it's using, or with the algorithms for that. Uh, wow. So what's your uh, John? What's your background as far as uh, education? Uh, computer science or a uh, combination of things? Uh, actually, I in, 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 computer, in computer, I actually failed computer science. <laughs> never going to use computers. I never going to. And now I'm uh, I'm in the uh, I'm in this world it's kind of weird it's just uh -huh. but i couldn't really you know why are people going to be looking at screens back in 1982 what are you, you know these screens and then programming this software like you know yeah ibm computers and stuff like i was like yeah, yeah this is not, i'm just gonna use this <laughs> right you know, in manufacturing it's different yeah now you know back then it was still you know tool and die that's what we all th yeah five axis robotic arm so right technology is infusing with manufacturing and now it's going even more from a creative standpoint. So is, is your is your now Phil, you asked about John's background. He's got a little bit of a cheesy background. So yeah, <laughs> I've been I've been in the food business for about a lot of years. So a lot of the a lot of the the, the, the forms and we're all tool and die. So I have a lot of that's where my, my experience okay. Is from food so, industry. So if you ever need some advice for cheese, <laughs> you're, you're a certified. Cheese. I'm actually certified. I got certified in. Uh, I was 21 years old, and actually after finding out that in Europe, if you're a cheese maker, you're like you're like Better, more popular than Brad Pitt. Yeah, so you're. You know, actors, like, yeah, so you're. More important than an actor in Europe. Oh, wow. I was going to go to Europe. I was going to get all kinds of autographs. Uh -huh. all kinds of so you're way beyond Cheesehead. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Wisconsin. Yeah. Actually, I knew a lot of a lot of fellows in Wisconsin. Uh -huh. Good guys there. I bet you do. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's quite. It's, it's, it's again. It's 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 the, you know from raw milk to pasteurization to. There's a process, and that process also works in any environment. It's understanding that there's processes. Uh -huh. and, that's, and, and even creative thought, you have creative ideas. Sure. On a napkin is one process, and a napkin to a 2D or 3D, and then prototype, and then, and then manufacturing, or communication on a graphic design or media. Uh -huh. There's a process okay. there. Okay. It doesn't really matter. It's, just a, it's that discipline understanding that process. So, so what got you into 3D printing, really? Uh, it's the design. Just, I okay. fell in love with it. It's uh -huh. just, you 
know, it was like, um, I love art. I'm, a, I'm an artist myself. I love this. I like drawing. I've been drawing since I was five years old. Uh -huh. I, I got charcoal. Like, I love charcoal and design and beautiful things. Like, you know, when I look at a, when you look, when you look at a car, like a, like a Lamborghini, you just look at it and like, I really appreciate the Lamborghini or right. the Ferrari or the Porsche. The design, the, you know, how they developed it is beautiful. Well, yeah, it, it's both function and form working it's together. Really yeah. It just it makes you feel good. You just yeah. you know, look at design and, and, and design something for, uh, to, make you, to make you feel good. It's, it's about inspiration. It's about the environment, how we design stuff around us to make us feel healthier. And so you thought, so you thought, how cool is this to be able to take my design and print it out in 3D? With right even hands. with the colors, yeah. Wow. Right in your hand. So like right wow. now it's almost like it's almost like what's that program called that when you down the road they'll put it in your head and you'll be able to record your dreams? Uh. That's, it's, almost, <laughs> it's almost as far as that. Like, taking your yeah. and then right away taking that and then design and you have your idea in your hand. That's for me that uh -huh. was that was the exciting part. Well I wanna introduce Monica Zajeshka. Hi. Hi. She's my our colleague. Uh, unfortunately Doctor Wake couldn't be with us. But uh, see Monica, where is she at? Okay. She's okay, right over here. Can you, you see her here? Right you don't see me? Well, you see, we seem to find you now. Oh, she's phone, she's right? next to me. I'm, I walked in because I was downstairs in my office and I saw <laughs> the emails. <laughs> and Ken got me. <laughs> Is Andy? Yes. yes. Oh. There's Andy and, and John and Julie. Let's see. Oh, there's Julie Here's there too? Julie. Hi. Julie's yeah, there. Yeah, I see Julie. Yeah. Hi, Julie. You see me? No. Hold no. On. <laughs> Do you see any of us? Or no, they have to share the video with you. Do you hey, see are you uh, sharing your video? Are you sharing our? Oh, the session ended, and that's what happened while you were gone. Oh, that's how you can see us. Yeah. That's why uh, I was waiting, I got, and nobody yeah, waved a, back at me when I first walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, a, a oh, right, warning yeah. that said yeah. session yeah. ended. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there, there she is. <laughs> She's the prettiest one of us. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and we were just and Julie too. Look at that. <laughs> How did Monica come on just when they were talking about form and beauty? How did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't need to print her out. She's already perfected. Oh. <laughs> let's go back and take a look at the pen. what's printing on the pen. Yeah, let's see. How, how's because it coming? I was considering getting a 3D printer for, to, to print my jewelry. Mm. Okay. Oh, Monica, you want to see this. Look at that. That's printed wow. out 3D printer. That's awesome. Yeah. Looks like an amber, like it's embedded in amber or how something. How long did it take to print that? This one here is about, uh, it's not very long. The machines downstairs are, are more high performance, mm -hmm. multi, multi material, uh, probably about 12, hour, about 12 hours. Okay. And, and do you know what, what program that was designed in? Um, it, it basically, it's a CD scan. A CD oh, okay. Scan, mm. converted, uh. Uh, converted into a, an SDL file. Oh, okay. So, in, so it's actually con scanned from a, a, converted from an actual 3D scan. An okay. MRI or all right. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. We can 3D print it now. Wow. That's, yeah, that's cool. We'll go down and show you a scanner. He's got some great scanners. Yeah. The scanners are even more exciting than the printers. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, a lot of movie stars now are getting their images, their their faces and their heads, their bodies scanned uh, with 3D and copywriting the images. For Julie, we have Julie 3D, so... Oh, really? Julie's already 3D. Yeah. Good point. She's more like 4D. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's younger than that. 40. Oh, no. 40. No, it's I because you can smell, you know. Let <laughs> 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 me discuss what kind of, what kind of, what kind of printer is this? What, which model? See if I can tell. See, see how I can turn this around so I can get a better uh -huh. shot. So which model is this one? Because I looked at different kinds of printing printers. Uh, where is this guy here? Let's see. Yes, this is the... Yeah. Here's the... Yeah. That's not yeah. the bot. What is that? Maker bot. Is it? Yes. Okay. So I was right. So maker, <laughs> maker bot. Now is that the one printing out uh, my guy? Yes. How has he? Are his feet done? Are his? Is this still the, uh, the base here? This is the uh, the base because yeah, still building the base. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. The leg actually. I was looking at different kinds. The one I like was Mojo, but it was nine thousand. <laughs> Let me um, do this on a pad. So how many how many 3D printers he has? One or several? Several. Several. Yeah. yeah. Are they the same the same brand or different brands? What say Monica? The the 3D printers is that all the same? Uh, uh, MakerBot. 
Yeah, yeah, but they're different. They're different. Uh, they're different versions. Okay. Hold on a second. We're going to move over to the pants so you have a better shot. Here you go, Julie. Julie. Are oh, you frozen? We're, we're going over to the. We're moving over to the. Uh, to the pad for you. Okay. Something. Uh, you got a little frozen there. There we go. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm not sure how to turn this around. So, oh, there we go. This is better. And there you go. Okay, and that's the base. So, John, could you explain to me then uh, how this process works? You, what is the the base holds the feet and and the rest of it up? Is that how it works? Yeah, right now it's building a structure, very a support structure. Uh huh. It depends on how where the feet are. You can't build on air, so you build this very weak structure that you can snap off using. Like some kind of like a flyer or a or a, a solvent. Uh, no, not a, the, the the two X you have. A, it's called lemon seam, uh -huh. and that can dissolve super material. But that's a, a different model that we don't have. I see. Because we have the machine bouncers that actually have that can dissolve support material bouncers. So I said, you know, why buy the two X? We don't need that. Uh huh. Um, it's a you know it's a hobby printer. You're gonna have to do a little bit of work to get rid of the support. That, that's the fun of uh, you know polishing up your design. Sure. Mm. Now they're getting the they're getting the um, well, Phil. Do you remember the model you're getting? They're getting the Stratasys. Um, no, I, I'm not sure. Um, you print? It's a, no, it's F which something. Which one are we getting? Fortis. Fortis. Yeah. Fortis. Yeah, yeah, By machine. which one? Yeah. yeah. Fortis two fifty. 250, 400, uh, 900. Is it the wood one? No. Uh, 350. Uh, we can't remember. I <laughs> okay, and so so that support structure, uh, does it have to go up underneath the arm that's extended out, waving? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To hold it up, to have something, a substrate, or something to, to at least uh, so you, lay it onto. So if you saw this thing, yeah. Chin, yeah. When we got her off, it was like one long. Like oh, ah. I see. Mm. Okay. Like so I had to go snip here and get off and right. the polish and she was done. Right. Okay. And then even the, the arms here had some support structures over here that I had to like snip off uh -huh. and polish. And you can see the bottom we didn't finish off here. Uh -huh. But I, I can fill it up with um, you know, a little bit of that, uh, 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 it's like a little bit of a, like a, like a PLA putty. Uh -huh. uh, not a big deal. No one really sees it, but right. it, show, it shows a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, opening. There, but uh -huh. you, don't really see, you don't really see it when it's like this. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. She lost her arm in, uh, in, uh, in Hamas, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I know she keeps touching her in her chest. Uh, is there a reason yeah, for that? <laughs> like, it's kind of like a magnet. I don't know what happened to it, but <laughs> I just assumed they, they, they ran out of material. They didn't make any clothes for it. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and there, there's Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah, this one here is actually the same material that we we full finish it downstairs with our with our expert uh, full finisher Ryan, uh -huh. and he full finished it, and uh, he actually got training from Stratasys on how to full finish, because we you know we were looking around for auto body auto body guys to to finish to to to, uh, to paint these things, and what happens is these guys won't even look at anything under five thousand dollars. Oh wow! Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I heard. We'll do, you know, we'll do it ourselves. We've got to paint booths and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be interesting yeah, to know how you paint it, right? Okay. Yeah. We're going to go downstairs and look at some of the big printers and the scanners. Oh, okay, okay. great. great. Come, Julie. Come, Julie. It's not going anywhere. That's basically about it. You, 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 you print it, and, and, then, and, then, and then you... And then you yeah. You print it, and you just have a glass of wine, and you wait for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good excuse for wine, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, all I've got is coffee right now. But. I have water. We just, we just had an excellent espresso here. <laughs> <laughs> so now you, you're in Toronto? Yes. Well, this okay. is actually Woodbury, which is a suburb of Toronto. Oh, okay. Bridge, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's kind of like Spring Branch to Houston. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so more of our, wow. Wow. Here's more of the high performance. Yeah. This is about yes. three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand dollars just in here. Wow. Oh my goodness! That's the scanner. Then Look at that. Like this. Right, rubber, rubber. 
Huh? Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. It's... <laughs> and you can do, now the, the new material now, came out from Facet, is the C3, where you can do a variation of, of uh, RGB, red, green, and blue. Oh, yeah. Any of those, uh, those, you can blend them, you can have one, you can have the same material have you know, yellow and purple. What is this? That, that oh, you're, you're frozen up. There okay. you go. Okay. Yeah, the EWs were in a bad signal, so. Right. So is that is that uh, silicone rubber? Uh, it could be silicone. It could be soft rubber, and it could also be uh, durable, like rigid material, but also different colors. So if I wanted to, I could have taken my rubber uh, dinosaur and produced a, a you know like kind of like green, and then the eyes could have been you know. Uh, it could have been a yellow, uh -huh. so dark green here, yellow, and I'll still be rubber. Okay. All the one part. That's, That's cool. great. Yeah, so is that another? You can have pretty? your parts now uh, fully colored as long as it fits. As long as it fits in, in this uh, in this kind of you know in, in this kind of uh, rainbow window. Oh, kind of a gradient sort of a okay, thing. Okay, so right, it has gradient, to be. You, you can go add like pink. Uh huh. Is it the different blend of materials? So you choose your color. Yeah, right. any of these in this in this quadrant. Uh-huh. I see. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. Well, you can mix the quadrants, right? Correct. And, and then, so if you want if you want yours more of the translucent but also wow. translucent mm -hmm. but then green and, and a little bit of blue, you can. Okay. But you can't go like you know, you can't go purple. Oh, I see. So are you are you also okay. able to print a composite like a graphite type? Composite so, materials. Um, we, we can build it together. So if you have a graphite uh, foundation, you can you print it around the graphite, graphite foundation. I see. Well, you, you can't print graphite. Okay. Mm. But but we, we work with like like metal, and I'll show you this after. You can actually put like the metal the disc, uh -huh. and then and then stop the print, put the metal disc, and then print around on top of it all in one, and leave the disc inside, and I'll show you the part after. Okay. Okay. So. Great. So just extra. So is that uh, is that the machine? What was that that you passed? Say it again. Yeah, which one? Okay, so that's a never. Uh, what? This is a different. Object thirty. Oh. Yeah. This is. Where's the number? There it is. Can you read that? Yes. Yep. Yep. B jet thirty. Thirty. Uh, oh, B jet. And, and so different different models, depending on uh, what you're trying to achieve, different. Different processes. Some are simple, one one material. Some are multi materials. So it really depends on what you're trying to do. Wow! wow. Look at that one. That's one. That's a refrigerator. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Could, <laughs> I, I could see Superman going in there and getting printed and coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> getting his costume wow. printed on. Yeah. How many do you have? <laughs> oh, we've got about about twelve. Wow. Because I see that those are the more like uh, business like the big ones. Yeah. But for more, business, not for. Personal. <laughs> These are more for the design design series. Mm. So if you're a designer, you want to, you know, verify your design. You can you can you can verify that. Are you oh. seeing us now? Not yes. Well, you're you're, re you're reflect you're reflecting. We can see both. Reflecting off the glass. Yeah, I've seen. I think they go up to like twenty five times or more. That's cool, right? So this is the scanner. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Pretty so scanner. we can scan. We, we can scan uh, geometries. So instead of building something from scratch, you can scan whatever you're in a change of using the other software. And how do you how do you set that up? Um, I mean, how how does that work? Um, it's a handheld laptop. Uh huh. You're done. It's a software inside the laptop. You have your scanner. It's use lasers. Uh huh. At the pattern, capturing the data back to the, do you back to the laptop. And do you rotate a, a, the object in front of the laser? Yeah. yeah, you can go around it or you can have it a turntable. And ah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And then, again, you can't build on air, so there's your support material. And the support material gets dissolved in a, in a, in a plastic bath. And now you're left with the. Ah, so okay. Yeah. Wow. That's, that looks nice. I like that. So there's the two of them together. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Bar Montero. And right. Uh, is it easy to take off, or does it depend on on the kind of 3D printer you're using to to remove the uh, support material? Correct. It depends on the machine. Some you need uh, some you do by hand, and some get dissolved. Mm -hmm. Some get water right. water mm -hmm. jets. So this is our, our production facility, the production series, the four, Force 400, bigger. It would be actually this guy right here, right here. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. The big one, the Force 900, bit. guys like NASCAR, uh, I think automotive GM would, would, you know, would find aerospace, would use this. Now, uh, with the, all the expense that's involved in these things, uh, are, are they, the plans when they put these together, when they manufacture these, uh, are they kind of readily upgradable? I mean, are they thinking, okay, well, this is going to be obsolete unless we make it in such a way that, uh, you know, it can be upgradable uh, or updatable for the next, you know, at least couple, three years, right? No, no, they, these are not like computers. These are, they're, they're plastic fabrication systems. Okay. They've been around for 10 to 12 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're not, they're not brand new. These are, it's been around a long time. Good. Years. Gotcha. Uh, Stratasys uh, has been around a lot since 1992 or 93, if I remember. So they've been doing, you know, they've, they've been building, uh, they've been building uh, uh, machines a long time. So often is a little bit newer. It's about, I think it's like, I think it's like 12 years, 15 years. The other one is like 30 years. Oh, okay. wow. Wow. Okay. okay. So like, well, yeah, they've been, been around. around. Uh -huh. So the 80s. Uh, they're not, they're not like laptop or chains. They're right. Chains. It's it basically the, mater the materials are going to be changing. Materials will be, mm -hmm. the, they'll be giving you, they're working on new materials, but the machine's staying the same. So, the new material goes in the old machine. Okay, the that's, yeah, that answers my question there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. They're, they're working on materials that could even be fiber optics one day. I right. Right. They're doing the, you know, the R&D. They're probably the only company that. Because I've seen one, was it made of wood, too? And you can still use it. Equipment, uh, same nozzle, but. You know, depositing different materials. Right, them. right, okay. Maybe the nozzle will change, but the X, right. Y, and Z will be the same. All right, so yeah, and so that prevents it from becoming obsolete. Yeah, this will not. So this, soon. This is, this is, these are workhorses. Uh -huh. These are for, uh, for a low volume production. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, from one ounce to five to good to 100 parts, depending on the size, of course. Uh, but if you need 10,000, it's going to get your mold, really? right? Did you mention it? Yeah, one of them. Yeah. And how much? What's the price on this kind of machine? They they all range from uh, fifty thousand dollars to three hundred four four hundred thousand dollars. Mm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> for school. Yeah, I mean, these, these are for these are for like serious, you know, right. production, uh, product design, manufacturing firms that that need like you know, Volume too. About, you know, uh, quality of material, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not, it's not for your everyday. No. Now, this is years. Companies have been around 100 years, and they need something serious to be big, big tray for big parts. And, and, uh, yeah. yeah you, you don't print 3D boy on those. No. 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 <laughs> but it's uh, you know double the price, two times the price that you would get on a mega box. Uh huh. Okay, so John. Uh, another question. Since Julie brought up a 3D boy, uh, did you have to modify that model? Because I didn't know how big to make it, uh, scale wise, or anything like that. Did you have to change anything, or you were able yeah, to print it as it was? Because it was, it was tiny. Uh huh. Because it was tiny. Um, the bigger bot doesn't have the high resolution because you're getting what you know, the, the bigger bots get what you pay for. Uh huh. Right? Uh, but we did, we sized it up to about 11 inches. Okay. 11 centimeters. Sorry, 11 centimeters. And you were able to, and it scaled up um, with the same resolution and everything. Oh yeah, every, every design, you know, that, that you know, the, the resolution in there. If you raise, if you raise it high, it'll it'll keep all that measurements like all together at once. Mm -hmm. It's like you're you're inflating it. Oh, so it mathematically fills all that in. It extrapolates I mean, it. I, I could have done I could have done the uh, the smaller one on the poly jets, uh -huh. but the materials are a little uh, cost prohibitive. I mean, uh -huh. it, you know, it's kind of like make it much easier for me to get get you one. No. Well, I'm glad you did. I, 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 bigger is better, especially here in Texas. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, so Andy, how am I going to get this little guy when he's done? Well, we're, we're, we're coming back down to Texas uh, next um, Wednesday. Wednesday so. That's what I was hoping. <laughs>
We're going to go back to the scanner. John Scott called away. Uh oh, okay. We'll be in Houston for a day. Oh, good, and then, good. And then, uh, so we'll get it over to you that day, or the, we'll be back to Houston for another day the week after. Well, wherever. You don't have to come make a special trip. I'll meet you wherever you want. <laughs> okay, some, some of the okay. Maybe I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. And this and one. we saw these printers here? Uh, yeah, which one is the, the one on the side there? The one that the big we just one? walked in. Yeah, the big one that you went when you the walked in. The one on in. the right. Yeah, the big one on the right. That you just right passed. Here? That you, you just passed pa it. You just passed it. Oh, do, 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 do. this one. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And the, the the nice thing about it is the top of it. It's not printing right now. Uh huh. But see the plated it has. Uh huh. Yeah, that the big size. Yeah, I see yeah. that. That's big. Yeah. So once we get you a really good benefactor, you put it this way. <laughs> wow. We just need yeah. to get the. Uh, 3D printing systems up there, whatever you call themselves, mm -hmm. uh, make some good money, and then he can donate this one to me. <laughs> That'd be great. We need to have some students, alumni, donate. Yeah. It. Yeah. Well, guys, we're uh, we're running out of battery here, so we're going to let okay. you know something else you want. No. Well, this this exceeded all my expectations. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so all much. All three of you. It's just fantastic. Well, we'll send you a picture of the 3D boy when he comes off. Oh, <laughs> super. Well, you got you got my email. Monica, what kind of shoes are you wearing? Uh, <laughs> me? I'm wearing uh, Skechers. Oh, they look pretty unique there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's true. No, that's your joke. No, those are your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your Julie shoe there. Okay. okay. Yes. You don't want to see my shoes. I'm actually going to the Astros game later this evening. <laughs> see you guys. See you guys later. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. God bless. Oh, uh, I was looking oh, at those. That's so cool. I was